welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Julia, I am a Buffalo-based content creator and I am so excited for today's video because today I'm gonna to take you guys along for a little date night. We are going to Lloyd Taco Factory. So Lloyd reached out to me and asked if I wanted to come and bring someone with me to have a little dinner there. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you guys know that I love Lloyd. Matt and I have made videos about Lloyd before and so I'm super excited to go back, see what's new there, eat some amazing freaking tacos, maybe have a little drink. So I figured it would be super fun to bring you guys along. It is such a beautiful night. We made it to Hurdle and we're gonna go head into Lloyd. I don't know whether I want to get a Paloma or the Snozberry Mule. Both of them are kind of calling my name. Do you think you're gonna get a, a cocktail? Ooh, and they make they they make mocktails too. I'll, I'll get some. Okay, that's super fun. Ooh, well now I'm like, do I just want a mocktail? No, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna get a cocktail. Feeling a little feeling a little fun and snazzy, and then we're gonna go order some food. Just put in our orders, as you guys can see. You go over there, place your order. You can also order at the bar, but we got, we got a few things. We got some sticky sprouts and the cracked potatoes sides. We also got some tacos, because if you know me, you know I'm like obsessed with the Big Lloyd taco. It is the f***ing best. It's so good, I cannot not get it every time. And then I was saying to Matt, I was like, maybe I'll just get one but it's like, it's also never enough. I can't ever just get one Big Lloyd taco. I always have to at least get two, sometimes three. But I got two Big Lloyd tacos and one black bean taco. And Matt got a chicken taco. Chicken taco, which I've never gotten actually. I usually do Big Lloyd pork and beef, but I did grilled chicken and pork. And he got uh, his hot. Yeah, he got his hot, which is very bold, in my opinion. Just I got mine. Season. I got mine mild because if you know, you know. I can't tolerate spice at all. But yeah, I'm super excited, and our drinks are so good. I got the. I'm already forgetting it. The the mule. The snozberry mule. The snozberry mule. Uh, vodka, blueberry shrub, lemon, and ginger beer. It's so good. It's very refreshing. Matt's favorite word to describe a drink. It is. It's very good. Right? It's That's really good. good. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not too sweet. It's like, it's, it's, it's a really, really well balanced. Yeah. Mm. And a Paloma. So good. And a Paloma. No salt rim. No you salt rim. It? Yeah, definitely. You just can't go wrong with Mezcal. Oh, you really can't go wrong with the Paloma, with Mezcal. Oh my God, that's very good. That's like actually a dangerous, Palomas are like dangerous drinks. You like, I don't know, I like cannot taste any alcohol in that at Sip. all. Mm. Oh, it's so good. That's also very, very refreshing. Mm. So good. Basically all I say is, it's so good! And then he brings in like real food words and... Real food words. <laughs> Alright, we've got green onion. The potatoes are perfectly crispy, perfectly warm. Yeah, that like crema sauce. Oh, look at that. It's so good. We also got the Brussels sprouts, so that's what we gotta do next. Okay, 
Is it gonna focus? We're really in focus. Yeah, we're really <laughs> in focus with this Brussels sprout. I just want it to be the star of the show. There we go. Oh my God, that actually looks ridiculous. That looks so good. That was like perfectly cooked. Uh, and the, wow. the pickled chilies are always my favorite. The fresco I gonna, chilies. I was gonna eat one, but I'm nervous about the spice. No, they're pickled. I mean, there is some spice, but okay. it's not like eating like a raw cut. Okay, I'll try it. Oh wow, that they're so good. Oh yeah. Matt's gonna Forget. squeeze a little. Oh yeah, I'm like, am I gonna get? No, no, just enough ambient noise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't like, demonetize me. Like, am I gonna get yelled at by the FTC for doing a five dollar Venmo giveaway? I'm nothing if not honest. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Not too spicy. It's, it's the right amount of spicy. Oh my god, so good. Limehouse, right in so Holy crap. Honestly, probably one of my top ways to eat a Brussels sprout. Yeah. Like, everyone does them differently. Matt and I once got some really bad Brussels sprouts at a different restaurant that is not Lloyd Taco Factory, and we haven't been back since to that place because they served us like boiled Brussels sprouts. We were like, no one wants steamed Brussels sprouts. Please make them crispy. It was like offensive. They were really bad. And there was no like acidity. Yeah, they didn't have flavor. These are like, oh man, bad. these are. They were really, like they were wet. have to get the Brussels sprouts and the potatoes. You have to. Granted, I'm biased because those are the sides that are the most gluten-free friendly. If I could eat that mac and cheese, you bet I'd be ordering the mac and cheese. Like, oh my God, yeah. Like that, that's ridiculous too. Okay, is it taco time? I think it is. Okay, it's taco time. It Amateur hour over here. I didn't bring a little tripod, but this is more, wait, wait, I need to, I need to get a better grip. I need to get a better grip before we eat the tacos. Okay, this is not gonna be attractive, but uh oh, oh my god, it's already in fall. It's already in fall. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. That's exactly what you have to do. Mm. Good big bite. Oh my god. Why is it so good though? I don't understand. It's so good. For some reason, this just doesn't feel like something that you can recreate at home. Like you can try, but you're not. It's not gonna be the same because I've tried and it's not the same. Oh my god, so good. Ten out of ten. The big Lloyd. Like every time. Every time. How's yours? <laughs> like completely. It's gone. Completely unconcerned. So flavorful. Which one do you eat first? The pork. I always love getting the cabbage and the cilantro. Your point, even like even the pork taco, like could I try to make it at home? Yeah, I can try to make it. It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna be, the be same. as good. Mm. Oh my god. It's the perfect date night food. It's so good. But not first date night food. This is like do it. I would not if, if you're if you're with if, if it matches. If it's the like mood. really comfortable. Yeah. I highly recommend first date night kind of food as like pizza, something that's not messy. This is like third date night food. And it's like, I say third date, cause like you don't wanna date someone who's gonna be rude if your food's messy and you get it all over your face. You want them to be able to embrace that. You just might not feel comfortable doing that on a first date. But don't ask us, cause we didn't even eat on our first date. We didn't eat. We didn't eat at all. All we did was talk. And we both went home with like boxes of pizza. <laughs> because of pizza. Starving. We both went home starving with so much pizza. Because I think we each had one slice of pizza on our pizza date. Oh my god. So good though. I'm gonna finish this taco. Matt's super psyched about his grilled chicken taco. He says he's been missing out by not getting it. Never gotten it. Never gotten it before. Super, super like tender and also really well seasoned. 
Okay, I'm gonna try my black bean one. This is a classic. I used to get this every single Lloyd taco truck before they even opened up a restaurant. When it was just the truck, they would come every single Monday to the Buffalo News, and that's where I worked. And I would go every single Monday, rain or shine. Ben Sujimoto and I were the only ones who would go no matter what. Even if it was raining, we would go, we would stand in the rain, and I would get my black bean taco. I'd be so freaking happy. I got full too fast. It tastes like it's just it's the, so the most mind blowing thing every time. Every time I'm like, oh wow, this is really. It really is just it's so a big good. Look. It's so good. Yeah, the sauce is just like, it's unbelievable. Ooh, this is a really big potato. It's also the seasoning on the meat. Yeah. I mean, it's really. I think this happened last time we were here, and I was like, I should have gotten it. You know, yeah. <laughs> It's so good. Literally what happened. Mm. It's like the perfect, qualifies for the perfect meal. It's a very, very relaxed environment. Yes, super relaxed. I like that. This is one of the places, I've mentioned this in a vlog, sorry to cut you off. I like how at Lloyd, it feels like you can, you can get as dressed up as you want and you're not gonna feel out of place. And you also could show up if you wanted in sweatpants and a sweatshirt and you're also not gonna feel out of place. Like I'm wearing, like leather pant, like I'm like dressed up for me and I don't feel like I look too dressy and I'm also seeing this guy in a sweatshirt and like Adidas kind of track looking pants and he also looks like he fits in completely. I love places that have nailed the environment that like allows you to be dressy and fit in and also be super casual and fit in. That's very rare and I freaking love it. Hey, man, that's that. a really good point. It summarizes what I was getting to, like the just Good, like good come as you come as you are. Yep. That's not what matters. What matters is you get really good food and you get a pass. Yeah. So it's like the casual, especially at the end of a long week. Yeah. And in the summer, it's warming up. Sitting out on the patio is amazing. Yeah, we had such a nice meal here last year with our friends Anya, JP, and their daughter Evelyn, and we sat outside and it was just like, and you're just like then getting to people watch and like just like be on hurdle, which is also really nice. So yeah, perfect little day night. We just finished dinner. That was so much fun. That was so nice. I'm very, very grateful to Lloyd for inviting us to come to have dinner. It was just so, so good. Great like, people. Really, yeah, just amazing, amazing people. Like the woman who is like the head of their customer service and their new marketing manager. We had an amazing dinner, amazing experience, amazing food. Oh my God, I feel so good. Oh, those Brussels sprouts were so good. The potatoes, the big Lloyd, everything was great. I'm still cold. <sighs> wow, that was so good though. Such a great spot for dinner. Come as you are, you get your food quickly, they have good drinks, the food is always good, like the consistency is always there. Mm -hmm. At least based on what we always order, which is generally two to three tacos each. Mm -hmm. I usually get two, you get three, and I eat the third. Yeah. So. <laughs> Two to three, because I've we've gone and I've only had two, yep. but then split two sides. Yep. And that's it's the perfect amount of food that leaves you full, but not, but not too full. Not too full. Yep. Like I feel I feel great. energized actually. Yeah. And we were there for less than two hours. Yeah. Like it's it's the perfect amount of time. Yep. You could do it on a weeknight, which I think is amazing. You could do it at the end of a long work you day. You say less than two hours. To be clear, we were there for like an hour and twenty. I, I don't I can't see the time. Yeah. We were there yeah. for like an hour and twenty. And it makes it it puts it in that category of like the perfect dinner spot. Yeah. And the perfect lunch spot too when yes. you know they are open for yep. lunch as well, especially when you get into the warmer months when you're just like out and about more often. But it's March first actually. Yeah. And it's like a perfect day. There's been no snow for weeks in Buffalo. And it was like fifties and sunny when we got here. And it's still like, you know, dark now, but as of like thirty minutes ago it was still light out yeah. in some capacity. Yep. And we yeah, just yeah, love like coming just to got dark. It's a busy night on hurdle and it's always always fun. Yeah. Always nice to get up.
It was so nice. It was really such a good date night. So if you guys enjoyed seeing this little date night at Lloyd, hit the thumbs up and be sure to put in the comments, do you guys want to see more date nights? Do you want us to take you to other favorite Buffalo restaurants? Let me know and we'll keep bringing you and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> hello, 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 YouTube or wait. <laughs> you talk loud? Uh-huh. Like basically scream. Project? Yeah. Sweet babies can be scared of this. <laughs> <laughs> you can debrief in that you, you told me there was a car debrief. So okay, yeah, we're gonna I car can't debrief. I can't help that I'm always insightful. That you just wish you reported me all the time. And That's I was saying, saying things, and I was like, wait, I want that for the vlog. Oh my god, I'm so cold. <laughs> well, even you. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in traffic like camera. Fifty some degrees. Oh my god. <sighs> Talk to Camera.